In this video, we will build this fully responsive product landing page website by using DeepSeek AI. And the best part is that you don't need to have any coding knowledge to do this because I will break it down in five simple steps. In step one, we will ask DeepSeek AI to suggest the overall website structure. In step two, we will write the prompts using DeepSeek AI to generate suitable images for our website. In step three, we will generate HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code for each section of our website. In step 4, we will copy paste those codes and add our images to complete the website design. And finally, in step 5, we will make some minor adjustments to customize and improve the website according to our requirements. I will provide all the prompts and codes in the description of this video so you can download them and follow along if you want to. With that being said, let's get started. First step is to ask DeepSeek AI to suggest a conceptual structure for our website. So I have got these prompts here that I will be using in this tutorial. You will find all of these prompts in the description of this video. Note that in our first prompt, we are not just asking DeepSeek AI to only suggest the website structure. We have added more details in this prompt, such as the CSS effects we need, the breakdown for each section of the website, and what elements will be included in those sections, such as the text, buttons, icons, and images. And finally, we have provided our desired color combination and asked AI to choose the suitable fonts based on that color combination. So I will copy prompt number one. Go to DeepSeek AI and before executing the prompt, make sure to check this deep think option. This will help you get better responses with minimum margin of error. Then paste your prompt and press enter. And notice that AI is evaluating our prompt in detail before writing the response. So let's wait for a moment until DeepSeek AI generates the complete response. And here is the website structure suggested by DeepSeek AI. Let me scroll to the top and you can see that AI has provided us the product concept and suggested different website sections that we should create, such as the navigation bar, hero section, and others. Moreover, DeepSeek is also telling us what elements should be included in those website sections. For example, the heading, subheading, call to action buttons, background, and the overall color combination. So now we know exactly what we are going to build and we don't have to spend any extra time to write the text for headings, subheadings, and other website elements. All right. Now let's go back to the prompts and in the next step, we will ask DeepSeek AI to write us the prompts to generate images for our website. So I will copy prompt number two. Go back to DeepSeek AI, paste the prompt and press enter. Wait for a couple of minutes and let AI generate the complete response. So DeepSeek has provided us the prompts for each section of our website. And now we can use these prompts to generate images for our website. Also notice that in addition to the prompts, it is giving us the image name and the image dimensions, so we don't need to do any guesswork here. Let's try to generate this first image for the hero section background. This image should be in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I will copy this prompt and I will go to Leonardo AI, but you can use any other image generator you like. Click image creation, change the image aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Paste the prompt, make some minor adjustments, then click generate. And you can see that Leonardo AI has provided us multiple images that we can use for our website. Click here to download the images you like and repeat this process to generate images for all of the remaining website sections. Now let's go to the next step and start creating our website. First of all, we will create the top navigation bar and the hero section. 
So I will go back to my prompts and I will copy prompt number 3. Paste the prompt in DeepSeek AI and press enter. And here is the HTML and CSS code provided by DeepSeek AI for the first two sections of our website. Now before pasting this code, let's quickly create the necessary files and folders. I am using Notepad, but you can use any code editor you like. So I will create a new file in my Notepad and I will save my file with the name index.html. If you are using Notepad, make sure to check this append extension option before saving your file. And I will create a new folder with the name images. In this folder, we will paste all the images that we have generated for our website. Now let's go back to DeepSeek AI and copy the HTML code. Then go to the Notepad and paste the code here. Press Ctrl S to save the code. Go to the index.html file and open that file in your browser. And you can see that first two sections of our website are created. We have got this top header with navigation links and the hero section with proper heading, subheading and call to action buttons. Now let's move on and create the next section. Go back to DeepSeek AI and since we have already created section 1 and 2, so next we will create this features grid section. I will go to my prompts and I will copy prompt number 3 again. Paste the prompt in DeepSeek AI and replace the section name with features grid section. And because this section require icons, so I will slightly edit my prompt and ask DeepSeek AI to use Font Awesome to create the icons. Then click here to send the prompt and remember that you need to keep this DeepThink option selected for all of your prompts. So we have got the HTML and CSS code for the third section of our website. First of all, I will copy this Font Awesome link. Then go to the index.html file where we pasted the previous code. And I will paste this font awesome link inside the head tag of my HTML file. Go back to DeepSeek AI again and now copy the HTML part of the code. Then paste this code right after the previous HTML code. Similarly, I will copy the CSS code from DeepSeek AI. And I will add that code inside the style tag of my HTML file. Press Ctrl S to save the code. Go back to the website and press F5 to refresh the page. Let's scroll down and you can see that now we have a new feature section added to our website with icons, headings, subheadings, text and the links. And using the same method, you can ask DeepSeek AI to generate the code for other remaining sections of your website. So let me create the remaining sections and then we will link our images to complete the website design. I will fast forward this process. So I have generated all the website sections and let me scroll down to show you what I have created. Note that right now some parts may not be looking perfect, but don't worry, we are going to fix them. Now let's start linking the images that we generated for this website. First of all, we will add this hero section background image. So I will go back to DeepSeek AI and I will scroll up to find out the name of this image. Copy the image name, go back to your HTML code, and search for that image name in this code. Now here we just need to replace this path with the path of our own image. So I will paste my image path here. Ctrl S to save the code, go back to the website and refresh the web page. And you can see that the hero section background image is added to our website. Now using the same method, 
I will add all of the images and then we will make some minor adjustments to finalize this website. I will again fast forward this process. Alright, so we have added all the images to our website. Now let's make some minor adjustments to finalize this website. First of all, I want to remove the background color of this top navigation bar. So I will go to my HTML code and I will copy the class name for this top navigation bar. Then search for that class name in this code. And let's remove the background color from the CSS code. Save the code. Go to your website and refresh the page again. And now it's gone and it's looking much better. Let's go to the features grid section. And I will increase the top and bottom spacing because it is looking a bit smaller. So from my HTML code, I will find the class name of this features grid section. Copy the class name and search for the related CSS code. And let's add some margin on the top and bottom. Go back to the website and refresh the page. And now it's looking better. And similarly, you can improve other remaining sections of your website one by one. If you don't like something, you can ask AI to revise the code with the desired improvements. So I have prompted DeepSeek AI a couple of times and let me show you the final website that I was able to create. Now if I right click and go to inspect, you will see that our website is also fully responsive on smaller devices as well. Let me show you how this website is looking on a tablet device. And finally, let's see how our website is looking on a mobile device. So as you can see that our website is fully responsive on a mobile device as well. And that's all about this video. Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section and if you found this content useful, please like, share and subscribe my channel for more AI tutorials like this. Take care. Bye-bye.